Hey guys, welcome back to a, another episode of Make Let's Make Manchester Red Again. First of all, I owe you all a massive apology because I've made <clears throat> a massive cock up. Basically, I was clearing out some old files on my PC and I accidentally found a folder called ECG and seeing as I didn't know what it was, I just deleted it and it said the file was too big to go to the recycling bin, so do I want to permanently delete it? Without thinking, I pressed yes. So then, when I come round to edit episode 9 of uh, Make Manchester Red Again, it wasn't there. And then it clicked. ECG stood for El Gato Capture, or EGC El Gato Game Capture, or whatever it is. So I'd gone and deleted all of my files and um, I had recorded, I think, around three or four episodes. And I can't remember where the last episode finished. Uh, so I'm just going to skim through the calendar so you can have a catch up with the results. And a lot of stuff had happened. So we've been knocked out of the Champions League. I think I got, it was so bloody close. I think we lost on goal difference. I think it was. But apart from that, we're in the Europa League. We lost the second game to Man City 4-1. Um, we're still in the FA Cup, so I can still kind of go for a treble, <coughs> whereas now we're playing in the Europa. So technically, if I can win the Premier League, the Europa League and the FA Cup, you never know, might happen. Um, apart from that, the other thing that I need to show you as well uh, before I do that, I'll show you. Actually, you'll see the. Um, now I might as well show you the table, but I'm going to put the objectives up after <coughs> this screen, so you can see we're currently in eighth position on 38 points, and Man City are. Man, yeah, Man City are in first with 65 points. So we've got a massive gap to try and catch up with, but it's not. I, I think we might be able to do it. Only just. I don't know. I have faith because we're, we're currently towards the end of January and then I was also what I want to show you as well after blah de blah de blah the um, objectives have disappeared so <clears throat> I'll go to where I want to show you anyway. Basically I was looking how to bolster the squad and thought you know what I need a left back so I went and purchased a left back and this will make you laugh I went and bloody purchased freaking when he pops up. Alex, is it Alex Tellez? Tellez, I think, I'm sure it's Alex Tellez from Barcelona. Not realizing that I sold him to Barcelona at the beginning of the season. And the only reason that I realized that I'd sold him was because Barcelona gave me an extra five million for a sell-on fee. And I was like, hey, why are Barcelona giving me a sell-on fee of like five or six million? Then it occurred to me, I was like, hang on a minute. I'm sure it was Tellez originally my player and I sold him to Barcelona only to buy him back. And sure enough, if I go to, where would it be? Um, where would it be? Oh, transfer history, there. If I show you quickly. Um, so, uh, my club. So there you can see, oh, Bayern Munich, not Barcelona. Uh, I brought him for 55 million. And then if we go all the way down to there, I told I sold him to buy in for 60 million. So not only did I buy him for like five million less, I made five million profit from it. So it was like what? But it is what it is. It, it made me chuckle and I didn't realise. So that's what the squad's looking like at the minute. I've dropped Pogba to the bench and I'm playing Van der Beek and Fernandez as my midfield and I've got Pogba Fred. I want to bench Fazu Menza um, and what I want to do is I want to buy a backup striker for where just when you know like Martial or Rashford start to get tired mid-game. <coughs> uh, oh the other thing as well that you, you, you would have missed, I'd completely lost it with De Gea so I sold him to Spurs for 60 million. It, yeah, he just completely pissed me off. He was constantly letting in goals and 
oh, I was so irate, so I sold him. And I'm considering buying another goalie, but I want to give Henderson another chance. And what am I doing now? I've gone to the wrong thing. If I go to transfer hub, so the goalkeeper that I'm thinking of buying is one of these three. But I'm thinking of buying Icardi as my backup striker. So he's valued at 56 million and I've got a budget of 74 million, which I could probably increase a bit more. So I'm gonna go see now if I can uh, pick him up on the cheap. So off the transfer fee. So I'm thinking if I just go ahead and offer around 60 million and let's see what they say. Okay, so they, <coughs> they want Van der Beek and no that's uh that's not going to happen i'm going to counter that <clears throat> um let's see if they'll take uh, i wonder if they'll take fred you've been good to the uh the team and then if i propose a new transfer fee so if i give them fred and let's say 50 million. I know I'm paying over the budget. But that's my, okay. Okay, so they're happy with that, and I'm probably overpaying. But you know what? I don't particularly care because at the moment, that like, it is a one-season pony or a one-season series. So I might come back to it. Depends how you guys like it, and if you are enjoying the um, series, guys, please do leave a like, and if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel because I do see that a lot of people who watch this series aren't subscribed so if that is one of you guys please do hit that button to keep up to date um, right so he's on 120,000 so I think if I offer him 150 with a 15,000 signing bonus okay so they're happy with that that or ding dang do okay so we've got our backup striker so that's just if things get a little bit tired and I think I am going to play him in this game so I'm going to drop I could have dropped Lee Grant off the bench as well couldn't I really if I'm honest um, although McTimoney can step up there so yes yeah, so if I put Icardi in for Martial he's right footed and they're both right foot so that's fine what I can't even get one bloody tackle in this is crazy. They've, they've ke they're keeping all the possession at the minute. It's like I've forgotten how to play. FIFA, no one can do anything. Can't even bloody pass the ball. Never mind. Get a tackle. That's yours, Henderson. Bit of a dramatic dive. But it is what it is, I guess. And Rashford's through. Rashford's through. Icardi! Oh, damn it. Why did I pass to Icardi? I should have just shot. Ref, they're not in the penalty area. The passing backwards, surely you should... Ref, come on, we're, we're literally two minutes over, Ref. Three minutes over, four minutes over, thank you, my God. Right, come on, Icardi, what can you do? Show me why I've... Oh, he's got a free kick for us. That would bad say, show me why I paid all this money for you. And it's working out, although it is only against Brentford, it's a championship team. But I don't know why I'm struggling. And the alarm's going off so much. Uh, I'm just going to let Bruno take it and I've been practicing my free kicks on Ultimate Team and it's normally about there, about ah, a little bit lower or a bit more power and that might have gone in. Tell ya, Hummels, if that was Matt Hummels who was doing the defending, I think it was, 16, yeah. He's been a godsend since I brought him. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Lindoff literally only just come on as well. <laughs> That's what is it? Is it a super sub? I, I honestly wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the corner just to be deflected and I was trying to plan my next move and then Lindoff just donked it in the back of the net. Lovely corner, straight to him, perfectly arched back and boom, get in. I don't expect much from corners. That's why I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Right, come on Sancho. As I said in an episode that you won't see now, I feel like I, uh, I'm wasting with Sancho. It's like 
I need to learn how to use his skills. Oh, this is interesting. So Barcelona are offering 95 million for Pogba. Interesting that. Who have I, got? I'm sure I've got, yes, to Sturgeon. I'm see worth 99, damn it. I could ask though for 135. <clears throat> Let's see who they have, if there's anyone that I could pilch from them. Uh, player swap. Uh, we'll start with strikers. Have they sold Messi? Or he's a winger. Is he a winger? Yeah, he's a winger. I thought they sold him then. Uh, Frankie De Jong. Do you reckon I could get a straight swap for those two? That would be interesting. You know what? That Busquez, isn't he um, Sergio Busquez's? Is, is it his son? I think it is, isn't it? I'm sure it is, the related. I'm going to see if I can do a straight swap for... this let's see if, if they'll if it'll work okay so they they don't want to swap any of their players in that case um i'm going to counter with a new transfer fee of 150 million nope okay that's fine good to know Right, where did that come from? Where did that goal come from and that gap in the wall? Oh, 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 I've been saved by my bacon then. Bloody hell, the miles offside. Look at that, no wonder there was a massive gap. They're all bloody offside. <laughs> Right, what a ball to Rashford. Cardi with there. Yeah, we're not offside. What a knockout. And that was a nice assist by Cardi. I'm slowly learning how to do the um the manual run on. I've had to put the arrow on so I can see where to pass the ball to, but it's working. He's through for a second! Oh my god! What a set play this is, set play. What a play this is between everyone, from Van der Beek Icardi, who's slowly showing why he should be in the team, and freaking Rashford. I've got a tough choice now. Tough choice. Who do I rotate? I mean, Rashford's scoring goals, Icardi got the assist. Maybe, I don't know, I can't drop my, um, Rashford, that's for sure. So it is literally Icardi or Martial at the moment. Have they got Sammy Kedra? I think they have. <laughs> Come on guys, clear it, clear it. Son of a bitch. How? Oh, is it another one offside? Oh my God, I've had my bacon saved today. That's twice. Three players again. And it is Sammy Kedra that Newcastle have brought. That's interesting. Does he, um, I don't think he plays for him in real life, does he? Oh, Bailey's through now. Oh, that was a cheeky. Flare shot. What did he do? The um, what is it? I don't know what it's called. Look at that smile. Where um, he sticks his right foot behind the back of his left foot to shoot. Did I do that, or am I just seeing things? 
This isn't going to show me, is it? I think I did. I did! Well, it was the other way around. Dirty little flare shot. Ho oh, ho ho! I'm learning. And now Ricardi's through. Oh, to Bruno Fernandes! Get in! That was a rocket shot. We're destroying United. Uh, United. Yeah, United. Newcastle United, innit? I was about to say Manchester United, but no, we're destroying them there. From uh, whew, two close goals that were disallowed to uh, completely ripping them apart. It's good to be red. Ah, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Well, oh, Henderson, you beautiful person. Crap, that's offside. Oh, it went wide anyway. Okay, so we're in a Deadland 8, right? Igualio's uh, loan has expired. That's fine, I'm not too bothered by that. Whilst we're in um, thingy my bob, deadline day, or the last hour, or last, yeah, deadline day. I can't even talk. My coffee's ran out. I need more coffee. Um, I want to take this moment to say that thank you very much for watching the, the, um, the series, guys, and the support for it so far, and if you're enjoying it. Also, I've started a new series on my channel. If you like Youth Squad Le Legends, I'm doing one with Burton Albion. If that's something that you're interested in, please do check it out. Uh, I've just recorded the second episode, Leicester. Huh? I'm not selling Bailey, no way, not to a uh, a um, arrival. Yeah, so that's new on my channel. It was up, the first episode was uploaded the other Saturday. Uh, the Saturday just gone, sorry, last weekend. And then the second episode will be uploaded at the same time as this episode. So if it's something that you do like, please do check it out. I'm hoping it will be a good series on the channel. And then after this series is done, I'm going to, <coughs> to go back and jump into the uh, QPR career mode. So I'm trying to have like two different series <coughs> on the channel at once. So hopefully it will keep you guys happy. Bloody hell. Oh, hello. Diogo Goncalves and 2 million. Who's Diego? He's, ooh, he's a right midfielder. Four star, four star. He can play right or left. Interesting. Uh, B dribbler. You know what? I'm going to accept that. Uh, actually, I'm going to uh, negotiate because that's not too bad. I mean, don't, I know Bailey's become a court legend at the minute with Man United in real life. But, <clears throat> I'm thinking, I've got Lindorf as my backup defender. This could be good. So, I've, I've got McKay, um, yeah, James McKady. Is it McKady? McKady, I think it is. Pose new transfer fee. So, I at least want another 10 million for him. So, we, we're just matching the worth. Let's see if they'll take that. Yeah. Oh, uh, in that case, I want a 7% sell-on clause. 1%, really. You're not um, making it very... What's the word? Good, are you? Let's see then if I can get another 5 million. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> okay, not too bothered. Ooh, Wolves have brought Giroud. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's where we send De Gea to Tottenham. <laughs> Hopefully now Tottenham will see a load of goals. And then I've sold Fred De Gea, De Gea even, uh, and Shaw, and we brought in Tellez and Icardi. Ooh, City have sold Gundogan. Some interesting swaps so about it's, it's a transfer window now isn't it in January and Derby have been linked with a uh, decent striker from Turkey but this whole Brexit thing and the takeover have I, just, have I missed out on a sale I oh, know it's a squad monthly report this whole um, takeover that Derby are meant to be having and the Brexit thing means that we might not be able to get this uh, this new striker, but ideally we do need a, a new striker. Oh, guys, look at that! Look at the top scorers. You got 
Um, Sergio Aguero on 17 goals in 25 matches and Marcus Rashford on 17 goals in 24 matches. So, hoo -hoo -hoo. and then in 11th and 12th is Martial and Fernandez on 11. It's quite close, so we've played City again, so I'm never going to get the chance to uh, beat them now. But if I can keep scoring Rashford, getting Rashford to score goals, then it should be all good. Oh ho! Sancho's down past Robinson already, and he's dumb footed it. Ah, damn it, too much. As I keep saying, I think Sancho is wasted on me. I mean, he's a, he's a brilliant player, but you need to know skills, and I know Nafor's skills. I know a step over and a roulette. And I feel if I could do as many skills as I could, like if I learned them, I'd be untouchable with Sancho. Get up, you tart! I did not do anything then. I didn't even put a tackle in. I was just jockeying. And he bloody tripped up. Look. Jockey, 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 jockey. That's not a freaking penalty. Gonna go right, in he? Aww. Yes, Henderson. <sighs> Bollocks. I thought Salah was offside. I was purposely making my run to keep him offside then. Who kept him onside? And then... Uh, I thought Henderson had that bloody Bobby Firmino. Frickin' hell. Well, although, to be fair, I deserve this, I guess. I tasted Newcastle, so it's about time that I took another tasting into it. Rashford with a... Cr I don't know what kind of cross that was. Right, can I do what I did last time when Lindoff scored? I'll put it there. Is it going to go to 16? It is. And there's nothing come of it. I don't know what to say to that, guys. I do apologise for being quiet. I was trying to uh, concentrate and look at the ball curl around everyone and then Lacazette is, yeah. And this is why I, I don't know what to do with my keepers because look, Henderson should have saved that. Why is he diving with his foot? Even if he got that with his foot, it would have bounced over and deflected in the back of the net. Oh, come on, can no one, thank you. At least Henderson managed to save that. But could no one else get a bloody tackle in? And James, that's what I meant. Not McKeady or whoever else on the bat. James is the backup winger that I've got. Oh my bloody God. Liverpool are ripping me apart, aren't they? I ripped Newcastle apart. And now it's my turn to be ripped apart by Liverpool. Look at that, that space that he's got there. And Henderson's just like he got pulled backwards, never mind diving to the freaking left. Okay, so guys, that's going to be it for this episode, because um, I'm getting frustrated again. Now, remember now why I get frustrated with this career mode, because bloody keepers can't seem to save a bloody shot. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. I am trying to see if I can hit 500 subscribers by the end of this year. So a lot of you who do watch this series are already subscribed, so please do. And I'm going to continue simming until we get to the first the round of 32 for the uh, Europa. Here we go. And then I will end the episode. So once again, I will see you all later. Bye.